This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. KHOU.com reports. Families in rural Medina County walked outside to a wasteland on Tuesday morning after an overnight tornado overturned cars, tossed power lines, and damaged at least 30 homes. The twister made a northeast path of destruction across several homes, mobile homes, and other structures just outside of Divine, about 25 miles southwest of San Antonio. Meteorologists for the National Weather Service were surveying damage near Divine and also in Natala in southwest Bear County, where another tornado destroyed at least two mobile homes and damaged other properties. The Medina County Sheriff's Office also surveyed the damage from a helicopter and, at last count, estimated about 30 homes were destroyed in the storm, and even more homes and vehicles were also damaged. Anyone wishing to help is encouraged to call the Red Cross. And in another weather-related story, KHOU.com reports four officers braved Monday night storm to rescue a man stranded in high water in a wooded area of White Rock Lake in Dallas. Authorities were first alerted to the incident after receiving a 911 call of a man clinging to a tree Monday night. Responders said that water was quickly rising. One officer grabbed a stick and began feeling his way through the water as he searched for the stranded man. Another officer reported the water was so high it covered tree trunks. That's when officers said they realized there was no going back. When they reached the man, he was limp and losing his ability to speak. The officers were able to escort him safely onto land. After a few words of thanks to the officers, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated for possible hypothermia. From WFAA.com, an American Airlines flight bound for Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport made an emergency landing at Raleigh-Durham International Airport in North Carolina on Tuesday. Flight 1355 had just taken off at 3.30 p.m. when, according to local media, smoke was reported in the cockpit. The MD-80 twin jet circled back to the Raleigh-Durham Airport and landed safely 37 minutes later. No injuries were reported. The flight had been scheduled to arrive at DFW about 5.30 Tuesday evening. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.